My name is Harry Potter, and I my and I want to be a filmmaker. I'm. My name is Harry. My name's Harry Potter, and I want to be a filmmaker. And you, you want to be. I want to. You want to be a filmmaker. Let's talk about it. This week, I thought we'd run through some Harry Potter magic effects in After Effects. I got my Harry Potter 3D glasses from when I when I uh, saw the seventh one, seventh part two in theaters, and they they had these sick glasses. Got those. Got the got this red and green in the back for Harry versus Voldemort when they fight. Their streams are dip, like those colors. Also, Christmas is coming up, so kill two birds with one stone with that one. And then um, had that really really accurate accent in the beginning. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go out and shoot something as always. Um, I'll show you what I shot real quick. This is what I shot. And you got it's got to be really cool. You got to make some some sick sounds when you go and do it. Um, just something like this. I just used a stick and, you know, just act out, you know, how they do in the Harry Potter movies. It's really not that hard. So um, I did that. And then next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up After Effects. I thought this was a timely uh, effect to do this uh, just because Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is out in theaters right now. I was going to do it last week, but uh, I really like the idea of the uh, how I do my Saturday videos. I like the idea of doing that video. So I did that instead. And this week we're going to go ahead with the Harry Potter effects. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be a good idea with Fantastic Beasts out right now. So go ahead, uh, import your footage. Um, and I'm going to just take this one clip and make a new comp. Um, and right away, let's see, let's just real quick, just to make everything else easier, find uh, there. I did it a few different times uh, in this clip, but let's find, let's find which one I want to do. So go ahead and create a new layer, layer, new solid, make sure it's black. Let's just name it uh, magic. It's a magic layer. Uh, then go to effects and presets down here. I already got it picked um, now This is a plugin from video copilot. It's free. Um, it's their saber plugin, and it's used for lightsabers and stuff like that um, It makes everything so much easier, and I can't wait to you know work on that even more um, but but you know it, it's free so you can go to um, their their website videocopilot.net to download it um, Andrew Kramer does some amazing stuff over there, and I'm really happy for him and all the success that he's found with that so uh, go ahead and uh, drop the saber on there, right click, blending mode, add, and there you go. Now we're going to go to the part where we want the effect to start. So maybe somewhere like right here, maybe. Let's see. Let's go with right there. All right, so line it up. Now this, let's see, line it up. Now you're like, whoa, Ben, that doesn't look good. That looks like a freaking really skinny lightsaber and not anything from Harry Potter. You would be right. You you would be very right. So um, the way we're going to fix that is um, there are a couple different presets on this. Now I'm going to go ahead real quick and just keyframe um, so that the the you know this stays because right now it's in a locked position. So I'm just going to go ahead through, through this clip and keyframe um, all the points where... Just, just keep it, you know, keyframed on to the tip of the, uh, the wand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll speed up the footage, and then um, once I get on the other side of that, I'll show you guys what to do from there. And all you have to do for that, for the keyframe, um, is the core start and the core end right here. These two clocks, click them, and then go, go through and keyframe like you would anything else. All right, so once you've got all that keyframing done, that's, you know, that is the bulk of this this project, this tutorial. The bulk of it is just going through and keyframing that frame by frame, um, making sure that it's, you know, right on the tip of that wand. Um, I'll go through and play mine. You can see all my keyframes right there. Um, like I said, you just use the core start and core end, and then uh, we'll scrub through here. So right there, you can see it follows the wand pretty well. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing I'm going to do before I go ahead and change the visual, the you know, the, the the preset on the saber itself. I'm gonna go ahead and do some opacity changes so that it it, it kind of um, goes from zero to a hundred percent as far as the the effect being bright. So it's gonna start off and it's gonna fade in and then kind of dissipate uh, towards the end of the effect. And I think that really adds a level of magic to it, which is you know no pun intended, but that's you know kind of what we're going for here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, on the magic. Um, 
on the, uh, the, the, the magic layer. We're going to go ahead, drop it down, go to effects, or I'm sorry, transform, and we're going to go to opacity. Now, what I'm going to do is get it to the point where, um, let's see, real quick, trim that down so that, you know, the effect turns on when it's when the first keyframe comes on because you know if it's just st sitting there and then all of a sudden starts moving it's gonna look weird so cut it so it's gone and then it pops up keeps going keeps going keeps going and then right here where it cuts out so I think that is where you know it looks the best where it just it tracks it tracks the whole way through and then it's gone um, I think that's the best way to do it and that's how you know leading us in and out of those things that's where the opacity effects can come in really handy so I'm gonna do um, real quick right here is have the opacity keyframe that at a hundred percent right there and then move back a couple frames and drop it down to zero so that it does this cool build up where we see it let's see and then move the a hundred percent so that we watch it get brighter so I think that's awesome where it fades in you know it's it's still tracked to it there's no nothing happened to the footage or to the track but all it did was now it's all of a sudden brighter when it gets to the point where um, we, we want to see it bright and then it's, you know, it fades in from barely existing. So right here, let's see, let's do a good one. Let's do two frames. Is two frames good? Yeah, I think that's really cool. See, it gets brighter. It's, it's you know, at about 50%, it's at 50% there, zero to 50 to 100. You can even do a little longer if you want, a little shorter. Either way, I always think that looks really good. So then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing so that it does the same kind of fade out at the end. So we're going to go 100% keyframe. Let's see, let's do, let's drop this down to zero. So there's the zero keyframe. And then we got to do another one here for 100. So it's 100, and then it fades out. So let's maybe move this back a bit. So it's and then it fades out. So I think that's cool. So let's go through and play, play it. Let's see what that looks like with the fade. Yeah, I think that's, it's really cool. It's really subtle and it's really not, you know, a big flashy effect. It's just something that I think adds a little, a little more something to this effect. And I think it's really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and um, um, like I said, we can change it. So it, it's kind of really bland right now with this blue lightsaber looking beam. On the saber effect up here in the effects control panel, um, the presets, you can drop this down and there are a ton of them. There, there are so many, there really are. That's the great thing about this plugin and the things that Andrew Kramer's been doing over there with uh, Video Copilot because they're they do some some amazing, amazing stuff. Um, so let's see, I think that's really cool. So let's see how that looks. Tracks, yeah, I think that looks really good. And I, I um, another thing you can do is go through the clicker, the flicker, I'm sorry, uh, and distortion, and so that it changes throughout, um, so that it gets real, you know, it, it seems unhinged and not, um, it seems seems more magic and kind of like it's almost out of control. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Core distortion, like something like that, I think is kind of cool. Let's see what else. Drop it down a little. Maybe something. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think that's really good. I'm actually gonna change the color. I'm gonna kind of getting sick of that blue. Let's try a green again. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's the really cool thing about this is there's really no right or wrong answer. You can just play around with it until you have what you think looks the best. Now, this next maybe two minutes is going to be very optional. It's not something you have to add something, it, but it's something that I think makes things look a lot better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import um, something else from my After Effects file. Now, this is, I'm going to do some embers, um, some you know, sparks, things like that. And I think, I think it really, I think it really adds, um, it adds something to it. It adds a little more mysticality to it. So let's see, I think it's two is the one I like. Yeah, that's good. So let's see, um, let's see what we can do. Let's go glow, glow. Now, like I said, you don't have to add this. Um, I got these, um, from Ryan Connolly over at Film Riot. Um, you know, you don't have to spend any money if you don't want, but I think this really adds something cool. I bought these for something else. Um, but you know, I think they have a ton of different, um, appliances that you can use for them. So, um, let's see, let's do that. I don't think, I think we should change that. So let's go to curves. I don't think they should be red if the effect itself is, um, green. So maybe a green, boost the green a bit. Nope. That's the red boost the green a bit, something like that. Drop down the blue. I think that looks really, really cool. So, um, what I'm going to do is tilt it to something like that. 
and there you go now I can pretty much just leave it there let's see let's see um let's we're gonna have to do some more opacity work on that let's do that real quick um have the sparks come in sparks are going now let's let's do a little bit of keyframing on the sparks so I'm gonna uh, keyframe and I'll speed through all that and then I'll show you what I do on the other side of that All right, so I added the sparks in there. Let's see how that looks. Let's go to the beginning of the effect, sparks, and I think it just adds something really cool to it because they, they react with the wind, the wind really well. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and just do the same opacity thing that I did uh, with the other one. So let's go through and play through the effect. Um, this is this is it, so let's, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this kind of thing, let me know. I really love doing these After Effects tutorials, um, especially when it's just kind of things that I come up with on my own. Um, I don't know, this one was a lot of fun, and I think, you know, maybe it doesn't have a ton of practicality as far as, you know, you kind of need to be making a Harry Potter short or something similar uh, to need this, but I think it's really, really fun just to kind of come up with these different things. I'm not even making a Harry Potter short or anything like that. I just wanted to go ahead and give it a shot and see what I could do. Um, you know, I just went in the woods with the camera and, and came out with uh, a cool effect like this. So yeah, if you guys like with this, um, let me know. I'll keep doing them. Um, I have an, a couple ideas for other effects coming up soon that I'm definitely going to do those in between uh, this, the regular Saturday day stand up so uh yeah i mean if you like what you saw here don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this has been a runaway brand production i'll see you guys next time